like you know some video shots about like the whole entire process. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> but they had to go, so that's why I had to start early. So you know, sorry about the wait and stuff, but um, you know, we'll be able to start like soon after I finish the briefing, and then you guys can do it like you know one by one. Um, okay, so so I, I didn't even have a chance to competition. Um, you know, also hosted by the Canadian Multicultural Council and uh, the Hardy Street Foundation. All right, so I don't know if any of you have joined our past competitions, but this year we're running it in a different way. Like, you know, so technically we're supposed to get all the different community members uh, from all different cultures, like all Asians, that right, come in for an like, open edition, rather than having individual editions in each community. Let's say Chinese have their own competition, Japanese have their own, Korean have their own, Philippines have their own. So um, that's how they did it before. And then the winners from the competitions come out and compete. And that was but you know, the end of the competition. So a lot of people don't probably know what the whole event is all about. But because the whole purpose is to celebrate Asian Heritage Month every year in May. So like that's one of the purposes for like you know of this competition. And the second purpose is to create awareness uh, for the Heart and Stroke Foundation amongst like you know, the young generation like you guys. Right? And uh, so uh, you know we really like your support so thank you for coming. And uh, so as I was starting to sort of like tell you guys about like the um, you know uh, the community award support award and also the um, well referral what we call it, right is because um, again it's to help bring out the culture right the reason why we want this to be an open edition is because we want you guys to come out we want, we want you to sing all in all different languages right because this is like you know a heritage thing that we want you guys to share together with everybody so you get to meet people from different cultures so you don't get stuck in your own little community for these sort of events, right? Especially Chinese people, um, you know, they, they have like events, I mean, same competitions throughout the whole entire year, right? And what makes this one different is that you get to, you know, compete with all, like everyone in, from other cultures. So again, um, we want you guys to join our Facebook group, right? Soon for your heart to love and pen, so you get all updates and information, you know, from the Facebook group, right? And uh, additions, well, this week is the last edition, today, tomorrow, and um, Sunday. So the 25th is the last, I, I, I'm repeating myself for some of you, but um, for those of you that came late, uh, you will not, um, well, we will not announce who makes it to the second round until probably the 27th, latest by the 27th, until all of the um, additions are done, okay? And the uh, uh, reason for that is because we want to keep it fair, we don't want to choose people from each um, edition, right? Because there might be you know, differences in like, you know, quality levels or whatever it is, like, you know, skills and stuff. So we want to get everybody to come out and then um, look at the scores. Because, uh, you know, judges-wise, we have, you know, consistent set of judges at all editions. So, you know, um, it should be pretty even, right? And because um, and, not everyone can make it to each edition, so that's why we sort of made it this way. Um, so on the 27th, that's the latest to we'll get to know, uh, you know, who makes it to the second round. And the second round, the first preliminary starts that weekend, on the 2nd of May. So we want you guys to be prepared. Um, if you guys have, like, you know, um, any song in mind, whatever, prepare the CD ahead of time, right? Um, CD format, audio format, no other funky format, just in case it can't be played at the mall, right? Because um, all preliminaries, quarterfinals, semifinals, everything's gonna be happening, like, you know, on stage, either at malls or, you know, for the semifinals and finals, it'll be at a theater. Yeah. Oh, you can, but you have to let us know ahead, right? But we prefer that for like you know, later on, like uh, the semifinals and the finals performance, so it doesn't complicate things, at, you know, at malls, I'd say, right? Because we're going to go around to different malls. We're going to go to Scarborough. We're going to go to Markham. We're going to go to uh, well downtown. We're going to next door uh, for uh, preliminaries, and then later on, we choose people from the preliminaries to go to the third round, which is the quarterfinals, and then you know they move on to the semis and then to the finals. Um, Again, so let me bring back the community thing because this is a community event. We want, like, you know, um, everyone from different cultures to come out. So at least one member from each different culture will actually be able to make it to, like, you know, into all the different rounds. So, you know, we make sure that we have the variety of people. So if you know, like right now, today's Friday, you have two days, if you know any friends who are Asians and want to compete and they don't know about the event, please spread the word. Because uh, you know, we like them to come out. We want to see them. We want them to also perform. 
right? And um, but this brings it, like my point back to the community award, right? Because there's Chinese people, Filipino, and all the different uh, Asian communities. The community with the most members, right, that comes out to compete in this competition, that's also maybe the wins an award, right? Um, that award is like you know a, sort of like a free karaoke night for all these members, right? And um, drinks, food, and everything is free, so it's a party night that we will uh, announce later on, like during or after the competition. Where the community came out, so we get to meet everyone who came out for the competition, right? So that's what we call the community room. And individually, um, for the person who um, invites the most people to join the competition, um, you, know, you get something more, like, you know, other than like, you know, just a uh, you know, karaoke thing, you also get free recording uh, at a studio to record a song for yourself. Okay? So that's what the individual gets, right? Each, um, and if, let's say there's 12 communities, there's 12 winners for these communities, right? Depending on how many people you bring up, right? And so the winner gets that prize. And, um, you know, so that's something that will go on on the side of the just like the regular competition. So basically, for auditions, all they look at is, again, like, you know, at least you're able to sing and perform. They need to know a little bit of background about yourself, so give them a briefing, let them know okay, what you like, you know, what your uh, hobby and why you like singing and blah, 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 anything about music and why you're trying to competition. So they get to know a little bit about you because then, you know, they can make notes and stuff like that. So, and then the other part is they want to know, um, you know, uh, well, as I said, like, you know, that you're able to sing. So most of the marks would be for vocal. And, like, you know, overall, let's say, appearance and also, like, performance, right? So do whatever you can so that, you know, show yourself and perform, right? So that they know what you're capable of doing and stuff, right? So, and then next round, um, and then on until the finals, all performances are done with music, so then that's when they actually look at the overall performance, the full performance that you can put on stage. Okay? And, um, so let's get back to the rules. Did you get the set of rules? Um, any questions so far? About anything? Because, um, you know, I don't want to go through every single thing, but, um, most of the So, um, oh, again, I mentioned to some of you. Today's, uh, well, uh, third, Third edition, and there's two more editions. So anyone who don't, who doesn't feel that they can perform as well today, right? You can re-register for your next edition, and then uh, judges will not look at your previous score. They'll look at you as though you're like a new contestant, because um, you know you're gonna get numbers and stuff like that. So um, you're not gonna be judged for like, you know, your previous performance. So you know if you go again, just give them your best performance again, like the next one. Right? So uh, I have to mention this so that it, um, you know, all of you know about it, uh, that there is an option for that. So it's, but this is all up to you guys, right? And um, I'm going to skip that. I also talked about um, the $10 registration fee everyone, everyone pays, but uh, you know people who make it to the next round pays more because they, that, that's fair for people who don't make it, right? So I don't want to go into details about that, but everything should be listed in but like, you know, the rules. So take a look at everything that's going to happen. Auditions, preliminaries, and quarterfinals. So, um, I'm not going to talk about quarterfinals and semifinals because that's down the road. I'll have a chance to talk to you guys again at, um, you know, during preliminary rounds about everything that's going to happen afterwards. Um, I want to talk about prizes. If you guys, do you guys know what the prize is for the competition? Right? Um, I have to, okay, so third place, you get 250 cash. Second, 500, uh, and the first place you get a thousand dollars cash. But that's not just um, the only prize, right? Um, the winner actually gets a free production done by Chris Perry. He is the uh, Canadian Idol producer. If you want to research his name and stuff like that, he wrote all the songs for all the Canadian Idol um, contestants. So the winner actually gets a chance to work with them. So he writes a song for you, and then. It, that song will not just be like you know, a written song, right? You get to go to the Space One, the top studio in Canada, to record it. It'll be perfect for like, you, like the master and everything. It could be released somewhere. You know? um, that will be something uh, you know, of like your own achievement, right? So that is actually the grand prize, not just the thousand dollars cash, because uh, the that prize is actually worth more than just the thousand dollars, right? And the chance to meet. Yeah, this one also happening during the summer. This. When it's gonna happen? Yeah. It's gonna happen after the competition, right? Because the competition, the finals is on June 27th, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, 
after June 27th, that's when, you know, we figure out a date and stuff for you guys to come in to do all the, you know, recording and writing. Because the, the process takes, uh, you know, some time because they have to write a song. So, yeah. Um, well, we're not, right? unless you can, unless the process is quick, then it'll be faster. But it's um, going to be by, well, it depends on the schedule. Like, you know, um, him and you guys are going to have to work that out, right? And also, second and third place also gets, um, you know, another award, which is like uh, recording time at Phase One Studio, right? So you actually get like to get into like a professional studio oh, yeah. to get a song of your own choice. So that can be used as I don't know your demos maybe in the future. So um, as I said, that's why I, I want to bring up that like, if you know anyone who's serious about singing and performing, whatever, like bring them into this competition because um, no other competition has done this before to get like you know sort of like bring you guys up to the second level to help you start your career. This is the, uh, this is something I'm going to talk to you about after this competition because um, there are things going on during the competition that will help each one of you, um, you know, st uh, sort of like, you know, head towards the right path if you want to, you know, be successful in this sort of career. Right, but again, I don't want to mention all about so much right now. So. I have two questions. First, uh, about the audition. Yeah. You said, about half a song, right? So, do you think, like, time-wise, two minutes, around two minutes is okay? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, because, like, you know, the reason why I mentioned this is because some of the people from the first audition didn't know, and they did a really, really short segment. Okay. And then, like, you know, we just thought it was really too short. But uh, just do whatever, and then if the judges think it's too long, then they'll stop you. So, you know, as long as they don't stop you, you're free to, like, you know, just go on right ahead to show them what you're capable of, as I said. Right? So, anything immediate about this, today's edition, for example? Like, you guys know exactly what you need to do, right? Okay, so, um, preliminaries, I need, uh, you know, uh, the CDs prepared because it's coming up right away. Um, you guys can read through everything else. Semi-finals, June 13th, and finals is June 27th. Make sure you guys are available for those dates because there's going to be just one of those, like, um, I mean, um, finals, right? So those are the important dates. Otherwise, we'll announce the dates and locations on Facebook at, after every stage. And we'll also announce um, So, um, I lost track. Anyway. Dates, yeah, everything is going to be posted on Facebook. And um, other than sending out emails, we're also going to post names of people who made it also on Facebook. So you know. Right? Anything else? Any questions? About the uh, I'll leave everything up to you guys, huh? About the winning the first prize? Yeah. Um, would they be open to <coughs> co writing or would, would it be imposed, like a song imposed by, the, by Chris Perry? Oh, yeah. By Chris Perry. Okay. And then there might be co-writing opportunities later, right? That's outside of the competition. You know, you can talk to them, you know, personally for that opportunity. But um, the purpose of the competition is so that you can actually gain like you know, that experience as well, right? So I don't know. Uh, one more thing about the competition is after you join and if you make it uh, to let's say finals or whatever, um, you know, the Canadian Multicultural Council or Hardy Show Foundation might invite you guys to perform at future events that they host. It might be galas, it might be fundraising events or whatever. So, you know, just, you know, I want you guys to keep this in back in your mind so you can have this opportunity later on to perform, you know. And that's also extra experience that you can gain, right? So, any questions? No? All right, so, uh, just get me to play, right? Good, this is far. Oh. Yeah. Um, should I, just, I guess I'll stand right here. My name is Jacqueline. Um, Hi. Jacqueline, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. I met you a long time ago. Yes, we yeah. met yeah. Um, at the... The first one. But it wasn't called this, was it? It was called something else, I feel. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. What's but your name again? I'm sorry. Wah. Wah. Nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Jack. Nice to meet you. How do you spell your name? J-A-C-Q-U-E. L-I-N-E. Cool, you want to tell them about yourself? Yes, um, I 
love to sing, and I am also a dancer. I've been doing it for many years now. Um, I al I'm also working full time in advertising, and I love joining these competitions because I feel like it's always really good to challenge yourself, and just to be part of um, a community like this is always really exciting when everyone's like, everyone's um, so supportive. Yeah. Yes. You know. You're yeah. not you're not here part of a street team or something trying to suss out new trends and <laughs> your advertising. Or anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's a whole new business now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. But yes, this is my second passion. What, what are you singing? Please? I'm going to be singing um, a verse of course from Destiny's Child, Stand Up for Love. Oh, cool. Cool? Yeah. Okay. Whenever you're ready. So how can I pretend that I don't know what's going on when every second with every minute Another soul is gone And how I believe that in my life I will see an end to hopelessness Of giving up, of suffering If we all stand together this one time felt more comfortable but when you're going to the verse it sort of felt like you weren't coming out as much yeah. so it would have been cool like whenever you go to audition try to as much as you can like what's the first line of the verse the first line yeah so um, you sing it so how can i pretend sing it. so how can i pretend that i don't know yeah. so can you try bring that out more like a lot more open up project more try it sure. so how can i Pretend that I don't know yeah. what's going on. That was better already. Like, just get, make, try to make it more intense right. and open up right from the right. get go. Off of that. Because it's acapella too, right? You don't have to have a and I, I mean, I've mentioned this uh, before, and I, to me, I think it's really important. Is that when you choose your song, um, there's a difference in being a singer that has emotion and an interpreter. As much as you're singing someone else's song that you never wrote, it's better if you choose a song that you really identify with, and I'm sure that this has some kind of most. But when you're singing, and especially in situations like this, or even on stage, if you own the song as if you wrote the song and become emotionally attached to it, you can apply some acting lessons to that. You know, they call it Stan Slavsky, where you basically become the part. You don't have to sing with your eyes open. I mean, when you sing with your eyes open, you sometimes you're caught with the environment, so it's hard to imagine and get caught up in it. But if you were to, before coming into here, said, I'm now stepping on to Massey Hall stage, and there's 3,500 people out there, and in your, in your ears you're thinking, you can hear them applauding as you come on stage, come in here, close your eyes, and sing that song as if you're singing it to 3,500 people. But, and then sing it, and then maybe the comments that Wad just made and whatever, they will come out naturally because you're going to sing. Uh, you're going to sing as if, whether it's four people in this audition, or whether you're singing to 5,000 people or to arena full, own the song. So when you're choosing songs, try to choose them because, you know what, I experienced that or I could have identified with that. Yeah. That'll help. Okay. And don't be afraid to slow it down. Like, sing that okay. long, like, try this tempo. I cannot, so I, how can I Jack pretend that I don't know what's going on right. when every second, yeah. with every minute, another soul is gone, and I believe that in my life I will see. Yeah. 
me and into hopelessness of giving up, of suffering. If we all stand together this one yeah. time, then no one will get left behind. Stand up for life. That was a hell of a lot better. Thank also, you. you know what? Use your body to help you yeah. create the dynamics. So when you're come, when you're doing that stretching, come down and pull up with it. Use your body to to yeah. actually look at your physical part of it will help Use you. Use your to, whole body. To yeah, to help you yeah. give soul and also dynamic to your presence and your performance as well as dynamics to your actual performance in the song. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No, I I liked the song. There was some pitchiness on your notes. You sounded a little more comfortable on your high notes. I'm, as, I, I guess that also came as a sound, a, as you sang the song, as it progressed, you became a little more comfortable singing. Um, definitely, you need to feel the music more. Um, mm -hmm. Musicality, express you know, the musicality behind it, and you more to connect with the sound, as um, he said, and you know, as Tony said. And, you know, that's it, be, and be more com confident. Confidence, you know, can help. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> it's it's that? like expression. You need more expression. Yeah. yeah. But I, I like your 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 that last take on it. It was a lot better. Just come out when you yeah. perform next. Come out, perform like that. Take it slow, but it's having slow motion and just relax and ooze out, right. ooze it out, ooze mm -hmm. the song out. Yeah. You're just gonna milk it for everything it's worth, and you want people to feel that, right? right. Like it's, this song is like. Dripping. Sell us on the sell us on the song. Listen to uh, there's an artist by the name of uh, Linda Ronstadt. She's been around for many many years and a big hit, you know, star in the in the 70s. And I said this before that this woman has said, I don't choose a song unless I feel I could have written it myself. And she's not a songwriter, and so she takes them. She owns a song. When she gets up to perform, she closes her eyes and she grabs that mic and she sings and blows everybody away. But she owns that song as if she wrote that song. It really helps. Don't just choose songs that because they're singing it and they're singing it because it's on the charts or it's on this. You can blow us away by finding an obscure song that you can basically deliver. Honesty is something you can't fake. Basically, yeah. everyone yeah. sees it. Like yeah. everyone sees it, and yeah. when they see that, when you're when it, when the singer is vulnerable, everyone opens themselves up too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's sort of like reciprocal. Yeah. So if you open up the show, they will open up. So and and it, it just causes this magical thing that I'm sure you can concentrate for. It feels mm -hmm. you can connect with the artist, right? Right. Yeah. If you're in advertising, you gotta sell. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen, do you, do you look at American Idol? Yes. Did you see American Idol's episode last, well, it's all, yeah, two days ago or something like that? No, I haven't yet. Oh, I saw it. Um, but yeah, like mm -hmm. the very last artist, I think. Was Crystal, I think. Yeah, yeah. She sang, and she sang one. Well, it wasn't the it wasn't the most popular song on the night. That was, it was sung, like inspirational. But it was, it was, it, yeah, the theme was inspirational. Everybody chose like all the popular inspirational songs. She chose a really different one to the other. It wasn't popular. But that wasn't popular in comparison to the others. And really, she sold it. She only sold. She yeah. cried at the end. She was crying. As she came to say, yeah, well, but she connected with her song. Yeah. Like, it was honest. She All the judges honest, were like, you know, "Holy like, shit, he you kicked know, your like, ass!" And as a yeah, guy, like it just, yeah. it, it just wasn't the how you connect with the song. But like she, he didn't finish her song because she was crying at yeah. the end. Yeah. So yeah, mm -hmm. you know, something you should take a look at it, YouTube it. Yeah. yeah. And, and then take, look at all the other contestants, and you'll know exactly what we're talking. You about. You can watch the other ones first, and then yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah. check out Josh Stone. Yeah. Oh yeah. She also performed at American Idol as well. Yeah. Josh Stone is just phenomenal. I mean, even though she writes some, a lot of her own songs, but I mean, Joss Stone, how she delivers uh, as a white girl with soul, with soul that, I mean, that's why everyone loves her and what she does. And, yeah. she, and look at her stylings and how she really does her songs. Fantastic. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot. Thank yes. you so oh, much. Yes, take a picture. Yeah. Oh, I'm in my first year at university at U of T, and I'm studying engineering right now, but I've always liked seeing on the side, and I, I tried to join as many singing clubs in my high school years, and yeah. That's good. So, yeah. Have you checked out the, uh, the uh, uh, kind of on a sideline while you're taking uh, engineering and move over to the jazz program at, uh, at U of T? Have um, you gone over to check I, and see? I no, you know. should do, you should go over to the jazz program, go over and introduce yourself jazz program, 
and tell them that if um, if anybody needs a, jazz, a vocalist or someone to practice with or whatever, that maybe you could uh, hang out with the jazz people sometimes over in the jazz area, yeah. and um, you'd be surprised. It won't cost you anything. You kind of kind of see and what they're doing, yeah. and you'll learn stuff, and uh, you'll be in it. And also uh, check around the school to see what glee clubs they might have or some other things they might have at the school. And you'd be surprised how much uh, freebies and other things that are part of your passion while you're studying that very utilitarian kind of yeah. engineering. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll be good. All right, um, I'll be singing Mariah Carey's song, Hero. Are you nervous? You're nervous. Are you nervous? Relax. <laughs> okay. Relax. All right. And, look, and, you can and you can close your eyes and just get into it and forget we're here. Yeah. If you want. There's a hero If you look inside your heart You don't have to be afraid Of what you are There's an answer If you reach into your soul And the sorrow that you know Will melt away and then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on and you cast your fears aside and you know you can survive so when you feel like hope is gone look inside you and be strong and you'll finally see the truth that a hero lies in you Hold on, I'm coming, okay. It's a long road If you face the world alone No one reaches out a hand For you to hold You can find love If you search within yourself and the emptiness you felt will disappear. And then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on. And you cast your fears aside. And you know you can survive. So when you feel like hope is gone, Look inside you and be strong And you'll finally see the truth That a hero lies in you Thank you. What, what's your background, nationality? Or? Uh, Chinese. Do you sing Chinese song? Uh, um, I don't know any of what I actually like, so... Really? I don't know, maybe I don't know too many people, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> but, always so uh, was your uh, was your vibrato a little bit from nervousness, or is that? Yeah. Or I'm is a little that, nervous. Yeah. No, no, no. Do you think that little vibrato in your voice was from nervousness, or or is, is that, that actually part? Because yeah. some I, people have it actually actually as a natural, and I can tell you somebody. I who, tried to, like I don't know. I just try to listen from other people, and I I don't know. It just comes naturally. I guess. Um, Why not just try to imitate? What is your influence? Who's your influence? Like who do you listen to? Like, Who's my influence? Like, who I. Um, Mariah Carey, Beyonce. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I listen to a lot of Korean uh, artists and Korean so songs. Uh, I, oh, I should have put my thing. okay my lyrics. I um, sing a Korean song right here. <laughs> I don't know the lyrics, but uh, I, I know the try the chorus. Yeah, try the chorus. Okay. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. 별, 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 별만 그 사랑해 왔던 거야 너를 찾아. 저 멀리서 널 shining star 별, 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 별 말을 다 해봐 넌 표현이 안돼 정말 넌 누나 답답해 이제 나 어떻게 해야 하나 Okay Good Can you Can you actually um now sing, you know Beyonce songs. Sing any like pop Beyonce song. Pop which one? Which one? I I I like her voice and I like her R and B genre, but um, like her actual songs, I like, don't know if I can. 
Mm. Okay, I'll actually Can go back to just singing Hero, actually. Can you sing the chorus, please? Who? The hero, hero by Mariah Carey. Can you sing the chorus? The chorus? Yeah. And then a hero comes along with a strength to okay. care. Okay. Alright, so when you were singing the Korean song, oh. you felt like you were more into it, you are you know, using your hands and your body parts, and now you're singing the hero song, and you're like this. Yeah. It's really like enclosed. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, really. like. I don't know. Okay. It's, it, it, like, to me, on, in all, I'll be honest, like, I just feel like this is, you're doing this. Because you think it's, you're gonna, this is what is going to impress us, and it's not. It doesn't feel honest. It mm -hmm. feels like you're you're trying to, and you don't have to try. You can sing, sing any song, yeah. and once you can deliver it, as you know, Tony was saying earlier on to the other contestants, then we'll be so. So like when you sound a Korean song, like even though it was as short as it was, there was a total difference in body yeah. language. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Not like you get into it more. Oh, so okay. Just seeing what's your what's your favorite song. Just, you know, what's your favorite like song? Favorite song? Uh, that when you're in the shower or when yeah. we spontaneously like to combust into that song. Oh, it's got, yeah. Yeah. What's the song that you think you sing the best at? Like when you like that artist and you can sing just with her. Uh, or if you could be that artist, that would be the one you would be. Uh, singer, singer. Okay, let me think. Something that you fit comfortably Ooh, into. Comfortably like, into. Like you wear them as if they're PJs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. This isn't a test. Okay, just sorry, so I'm just I'm just trying to think of. Uh, Sit down. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm not getting anything, if, even though I I do listen to a lot of songs, but um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was uh, more uh, thinking about your um, you know, it's going back to that vibrato for a moment, okay. and. and and because that that for me is a little bit distracting because I don't know if it's really, as I said, oh, whether you're nervous or, yeah. or whether or not you do have a pure, clear voice. Uh, sometimes your pitch is off. That's okay. But the thing is, is that for for, for here, but it, it, just whether or not that vibrato is actually there. Because okay. what I was detecting on the positive side is I think that there's real soul inside of you, yeah, and I was no, I was yeah. noticing that you have some soul. And uh, and it's waiting just to get out. really yeah. wait, waiting to get yeah, out. It's sort of like you're holding back. But a lot. your performance of, of of the song is actually uh, you're concentrating so much on that that the soul isn't coming out for the song. So 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 there's lots of stuff there, and and I think it's just a matter of choosing the right songs and practice, 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 and try and do it. And, and if you can, you know, kind of record yourself so that you can hear yourself. And, when, and think about what we said about, uh, well, all of us have said in regards to, in my case, uh, around the vibrato to see if that, in fact, is actually part of your um, uh, your vocal, uh, if, if, if it is. Because if it is, then certain songs you can't do because they just don't fit. Whereas there's other songs, including the North American folk songs and folk structures, that actually that vibrato actually does work, and it can and, and you can do it, and you, yeah. and you hear lots and lots and lots of uh, uh, North American folk music that that with some great singers that that vibrato does Just, work. Yeah, play around with your voice a little bit, like try to try to do it to like a song without vibrato, and then do some with vibrato. Yeah. Sort, of, sort of get comfortable with yeah. your voice yeah. and used to okay. it. Um, and this, by the way, the, the artist I was thinking about that actually has that vibrato and who is a major success is Rita Buffy. No, no, Buffy St. Marie. Oh, okay. I don't know if I and, yeah, yeah, Buffy St. Marie, yeah. the Aboriginal one, and she said she said big <clears throat> big hits. But you know, your, your trills are kind of interesting, right? Like they seem pretty tight, actually. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. So maybe a song with, you know, where you can break up those trills might be good. But can you an example? <laughs> Any Alicia Keys song, any yeah. Christina Aguilera song, yeah. like, okay. um, and, and try not to do like you. You look very youthful, right? So like, it's sort of like you don't have to do this very gloomy, you know, or uh, 
very slow ballad type of songs. You know, you can try something with a little bit more more energy, or or less less of a slow like, like a ballad that you have to like chug along almost, right? Because it sort of felt like that, right? Okay. Um, were there a, were there did you have another couple of choices that you're thinking should I do this song or should I do that song? Should that did you have two or three that you were thinking about doing? Oh, I was just thinking about the Korean song. I was just talking about friend, this one. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's just the two that you were thinking yeah, about. Yeah, there's two. Yeah. I, like I heard about it last week and I was so excited, but then I didn't really have enough time to actually practice a lot for you know, mm -hmm. or consider all the songs or yeah. research them. So I just decided like let these two be the final ones, and then I decided to sing where I carry. What was the Korean song? Was it the one you just said? Yeah, the one that I just said. Do you do you know any stuff by Boa? Oh, Bo Boa. I know her new ones. <laughs> New songs, but they were, uh, yeah. What about the Wonder Girls? I only know the Wonder Girls. Oh, yeah, they got a new one. Yeah. Do you want yeah, to try to give us another one? I don't, I don't know their oh, yeah. lyrics. I yeah. just know yeah. the Well, yeah. the Wonder Girls, uh, they got the. Oh, the uh, Korean girls? Yeah, Korean girls, yeah. They're, do you know that? Uh, so much in love. Da 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 da. Da 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 No, I mean, I'll listen to them. The new one. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's mostly Super Junior and uh, DBSK. Mm. And uh, I really like uh, this other girl, but I'm not sure if you guys know her. Yeah, what, what is it? What's the name? Uh, she's Chinese, but she moved to Korea. Um, her name's Zhang Li Ying. Cool. Yeah, but she's a Oh, the Super Girl, right? Hmm? Is one of the Super Girl? Uh, no, she's not. She's... No, she's not. Mm. Yeah, she moved there to China. Cool. Yeah, well, I mean, just ne next time, just think, think of a song you really, really like, like that, like that girl you just mentioned. Um, you know, there's nothing, in this type of competition, there's no nothing wrong with performing something that's not English. Okay. That's what yeah. we're kind of No, it's just that I, I, I don't know, I tried for one of the other competitions before, just an audition. It didn't end so well because I chose a song in Chinese instead of Korean. <laughs> what type of, oh, was it Korean? That was a Korean, yeah, thing, so I... I, I felt that I did really badly because of that because Korean people tend to like a certain style of music, like they want to show your range and everything. I just chose a never, song that ne yeah, I absolutely. liked at the yeah, like at the yeah, moment. Yeah. Like, okay, you did the right thing. Never, never do and yeah, like never try and do something you think will impress or um, think that's what they want because you can never really know what they want. So just know what you want, what you can do. Actually, no, that's not what happened. It's just that I like I really like the song that I was singing. Yeah. But then I don't think. They actually learned anything from what I've done or saw anything that's useful yeah. to them. So I thought yeah. maybe that was a bad choice. So I yeah. kind of decided to choose. Do you love music? Yeah, I do. Then you gotta you gotta be really passionate about it and just keep doing it and yeah. keep practicing at home. Change all, change the different kinds of music. Don't just listen to but uh, to to Mariah Carey or, or, or yeah. all all of the. Uh, current uh, pop singers, go and explore. I mean, do your, you know, explore your Chinese, explore yeah. the Korean, explore Don't hold explore back on your passion at and, all. And, yeah. and discover other music in North America if you're looking at English music, uh, explore it because that's what's going to, so that if you do come back to some of the contemporary stuff, you will have some background because guess what? All of them have studied and looked at all of the other music that is the history of how soul and R and B and neo soul and all that music has arrived to where it has. So they know where where it's come from. So look at some of the other and the original R and B stuff, stuff from the sixties uh, in R and B. A lot of stuff coming out of Korea right now is influenced from past music that. Uh, the West, came out of West, West, that's right. like, like they're, 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 it's like catching that. up, but it's influenced it. So yeah. it's 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 retro with pop. Current okay. pop. Yeah. And just one more question, if I could. Sure. Is there any vocal teachers who actually teach us, you know, like how to properly sing yeah. soul or R&B music? Yeah. Like I mean, yeah. There's yeah. Some, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're there. Really? Yeah. yeah. But if you and, really, and, if, if and, you really want to, yeah. yeah. That's right. Okay. But if you really, I mean, if you do want to go into, you know, the, the big names, I mean, uh, um, uh, Elaine Overholt, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. who actually is the one who coached everybody in the in the uh, in the movie Chicago. Okay. She's in Toronto, and she'll she. There's only a few sessions she'll give you, but in that few sessions, you will do it. Now she may. Uh, there may be people who are working with her that will actually. So Elaine Overholt, and she's got a whole program. You get put on her waiting list. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And but it, but Elaine is, uh, and you know. She's but on the other hand, if 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 you got other. Well, here, what what I would recommend you is go to this, go to YouTube, 
and type in, and, and this guy has a different view about yeah. this, but <laughs> <laughs> type in, it's, it's just because it's free, right? Yeah. Anyone can go there and learn it, right? Type in singing success on, on, I on YouTube. I think I okay. Yeah. Brent Manning. Uh, Brent Manning. And it's because it's free, and it gives, gives them a sense of what opens their mind, okay? Yeah. Right, so go check it out, Singing Success on YouTube, and just watch it and sort of think about what they're saying. Um, you don't have to do the lip rolls, because I think they'll make you look so retarded. Like, oh, is this like the other? <laughs> <laughs> he does the lip rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, just, I just don't. Does don't it work though? It does. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I just, for me, it's just it like... It does, a, it really does. Like, yeah. It helps to loosen your tongue, it helps yeah. to, like, in terms of diction, especially. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, when it loosens all your, your resonators in your, in your cheeks and everything, it, it works, it works. Okay. okay. So, and by the way, you, uh, I found that, that what you were doing, your enunciation, was really good, uh, but it wasn't overdone. So your enunciation and the way you were doing it wasn't, uh, it wasn't you know, um, uh, not pop, but it was really good. I thought your enunciation and how you were, how you were doing, I was understanding everything. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for taking all this uh, critique. It was meant to be really positive. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Cool. Take care. Who are you? Hi, my name is Sherilyn. Sherilyn? Yes. I'm Tony. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes, I met you before. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jerry. How do you spell your name? S H E R R Y. L Y N N. What song are you going to sing? Best of You by Foo Fighters. Yeah. You like that song? Yeah. Yeah. Want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I'm a full-time student at U of T, but on the side I'm also a singer-songwriter, and I recorded my first EP last summer. So I'm hoping to move on to the next thing sometime soon. Um, what is the next thing? <laughs> well, I've written more songs, and I want better production, more musicians on it. Because the, the first one, I didn't, because I paid everything myself, so it was mostly acoustic, with a few tracks that were like, with the full band, but mostly just guitar or just piano, or like, just very simple stuff. So I want now the actual, like, full band and full mastered. Production. Yeah, because yeah, last time it was just mixed, it wasn't mastered. So are you writing your own songs now? Yes. Oh, I've, been, I've been writing for a while. Um, oh, you're a songwriter too. Part of SAC. Yes. Songwriters Association. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I recorded my first EP in Mauritius. I don't know if oh, yeah. anyone oh, yeah, heard yeah, of yeah. it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, anyone heard of it? Yes, no? of course. No idea? <laughs> beautiful <laughs> island. Beautiful island. It's a island island on the coast of Madagascar. Yeah. Madagascar, yeah. Yeah. So... I'm lucky girl. Hopefully the next one will be recorded in Toronto with... Better studio, better everything. Okay. Well, okay, after you sing the song, can you sing something of your own? That's one of the things too. Yeah, yeah. What are, uh, oh yeah, that's right too. You're yeah. saying Foo Fighters, yeah. yeah just go ahead. Okay, just give me a second. Yeah. I needed some way to hang my head without your news. You gave me something that I didn't hear but had no use. I was too to give in, I'm too strong to lose. My heart is under arrest again, but I break loose. My head is giving me life for death, but I can't choose. I was too weak to give in, I'm too strong to lose. Is someone getting the best of Oh, yeah. 
getting the best, the best, the best, the best. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Why did you choose that song? I'm just curious. Um, it's a song that I like performing, uh, usually on stage, and it's sort of within the range that I'm comfortable with. Because uh, I've I hadn't taken any vocal lessons up until, well, I haven't really taken any vocal lessons. I just went to a vocal teacher in January just to like know what I do right and wrong. And um, he told me that I needed to strengthen my head voice. Because yeah. I use a lot, uh, I mean my chest voice. I use a lot of my head voice, but not a lot of my chest. So I figured I'd choose a song that sort of is in the range that I'm comfortable with. And that's, a, and that's important, uh, especially if you're doing a lot of work in clubs over and over and yeah. over again, because you'll burn yourself out if you don't have the right vocal techniques. Even heavy rock and rollers and mm -hmm. metal, uh, you know, you've got to have that right uh, technique. Do you want to just sing them your original song? Sure. Before you do that, do you have a cold? Sorry? Do you have a cold in your throat? Uh, I've been, well, I've, I've been coughing for a while, but it's sort of going away. It's still a little bit there, but I'm trying to work through and it. Do you feel pain singing? No. It's like what, like why I'm asking is like I was listening to you and like every time you, the best, the best. Like I, I have a cold right now, so I have a like I have a very raspy sort of, on the on those notes right there. It just sounded like you were like, like not cracking, but it sounded like you were like putting pressure on the chords. Oh, um, I I don't feel any pressure. I I think it's the usual. Okay. Maybe it's just the, the way my vocal yeah. cords. I'll, I'll have, to say, I'll have <laughs> no. something to say after, but I just want you then to hear your original stuff first. Yeah. Just okay. Sing a little, a little clip. Um, do you want something happy or sad? Happy. Okay. All right. But you'll have to join me though. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. I'll try. Okay. Hand in mine, we walk and strike under the blue blue sky of summertime. We're burning in and out. We taste some wine as we sit and dine We talk about your life and I talk about mine We feel so alive And I can't hold back my thrill as I feel this morning up to my fingertips You're better than a dream You're better than a dream You make my tears Make my day. For when you're seeing uh, that Foo Fighters song, it sort of feels like you need to open up a whole and that type of song slow it down for auditions, especially for acapella stuff. Mm -hmm. Like when you get uh, sing the first line. The Foo Fighters one? Yeah. I need I need somebody to hear. So that you're closing up, like you're not even open up that much. It's, it's even hard for me to break up. That's good. Huh? Uh, open up a lot more. So like for the chorus, uh, what was that? Is someone getting the yeah. best? Someone get uh, getting the best? Just, it, sound, it sounds terrible for me right, from coming from you right now, but that's I'm just trying to give you the idea mm -hmm. of opening up and, and letting because you're holding back a lot, right? Okay. And, so, and that's why I think. One of the things he's talking about because it's straining your 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 your, your vocals. A little yeah, bit, right? yeah, it just, it just sounds like you're straining. Because your chords have to vibrate freely, okay. so try to just open up more and let let it out. Yeah, yeah the, the air is going to come up from yeah. your, yeah. your chest. Yeah. But I like like I liked your the, what you sang with the original stuff. Uh, I I felt that was a lot more honest than the first song. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, especially when it's your own self-expression. Holding what instruments do you play when you're uh, play, when you're writing? Piano and guitar. And so you will I use guitar, and, and was that one written on a guitar or a piano? It feels like it was written on guitar, actually. It was on piano. Oh, okay. Because so it, it, I guess it can be on both, yeah. Because they're just seeing just the pacing of it, you know, the, the kind, yeah. of, kind of the rolling kind of. Uh, actually, I did that on purpose because um, I wanted something that was very upbeat, but only acoustic piano. Yeah. So. And also, I think that with song like with a song like that. 
because the song is very light and it's not it's not you know full of love and pain and angst and all that. It's, it's very you know sunny and, bl and, and, yeah. and fluffy in the sense of I might say that on a positive level. So therefore, you need that kind of um, uh, the kind of performance of it uh, uh, so that's not so it's taken seriously because it's. You gotta act that one out a little bit. I also liked your confidence, and I noticed that uh, you were intensely looking at the camera too at times, and 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 I really think that's great because uh, you're confident and and um, and uh, and I thought you held uh, held your um, your notes and uh, your pitch was pretty close, and uh, in most cases, and, and all that stuff. So so you're showing, and and where are uh, so you're at U of T, yeah. and, and what you say you were taking. Uh, did you say? Computer science. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and there was someone else here that was at U of T, and I just said there's lots of music going on on campus. That there's 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 a uh, um, jazz program over there. There's all these other things, mm -hmm. and it's good to go and explore. Yeah, I've that. actually tried, but um, they don't let anyone outside the faculty to take the courses. Do they no, have no, no, a no, course on the major or like open gym, open jam session. Sorry. Like a course on the major, like music course on the major. You can take. Uh, May, oh, you mean from me? Uh, 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 oh, the courses, the courses, courses take? for no, no major. There's courses for non Yeah, but it's not performance. Uh, yeah, we're not no. allowed any performance. I, I took one, it's just like theory, not not even music theory, it's like history of music or stuff like that. Uh, or like a course on the Beatles. Forget all, forget <laughs> all of the formal stuff. Go find the students who are making music and go hang out with them. Yeah. Just find the students. Don't go to the fact through the faculty and don't this. You've got your yeah. career that you're looking at on, on one side of it with the computer thing mm -hmm. that's your backup. But go to uh, go find the students who are making music and go hang out and play music and share music with them. And you'd be surprised what comes out of that community. Become part of that community. Yeah. Hang out. Yeah. Hang out is where you're going to yeah. pick up lots of stuff. Like, uh, for the first two years I was here, I, was, I wasn't really involved, but the, over the last year, I met a lot of people who do music as a living, like they play cover gigs every night or something. Sure. So I've been trying to like hang out with them or crash their gigs every now and then, play sure. a couple songs. That's oh, that's but, it. And, it, and it's helped a lot. Yeah. Also look for, um, you actually play guitar, right? Yeah. And you can play and say, then go to some of the um, uh, uh, um, the open mics. Well, the open mics, but uh, that that some of our oh god, I wish I could remember her name right off top. Uh, um, I'll have to think about it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, she, uh, she she has open mics. I mean, uh, there's a bunch of women who have their uh, their women's nights at, uh, and they're all folks. They're singers and whatever. Join them. Yeah. Just go get in. Go involved. Go talk. If um, I wish I could remember uh, my. <laughs> I'll think about it. Maybe if I do, I'll run it. Get Jack, you have any It's pretty good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. I think good. You, yeah. You do good. All right. So I have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Who are you? I'm Clarissa Diakno. Clarissa. Yes, I'm Filipino. Clarissa. 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 Yeah. I found out the competition. Facebook ads. I'm all about Facebook. <laughs> They worked. Sweet. So you want to tell us about yourself? Um, I'm 21. I go to the University of Waterloo for psychology and music. You're from Waterloo too. I want music on your brain. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I want to go into nursing after when I get to my degree. Oh, music. Uh, sorry? What about music? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a fun hobby. Okay. <laughs> but I, I, I'm a singer in a, in a rock band too from okay. Waterloo. Um, I like to play poker. Yeah. <laughs> I like singing, I like cooking and eating. <laughs> cool, cool. Cool, I just read her Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. The audio version. <laughs> so what are you singing for us? I'm singing Take Me or Leave Me from Rent. Oh, oh. That's song. Okay. Okay. that could be good. Just relax. <laughs> Go for it for your Okay. <clears throat> Squish in here. Oh, yeah, you're just down there. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, you don't have to sing. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Every single day, I walk down the street I hear people say, baby, so sweet Ever since puberty, everybody stares at me Boys, girls, I can't help it, baby So be kind and don't lose your mind Just remember that I'm your baby Take me for what I am Who I was meant to be and if you give a damn, take me, baby, or leave me. No way can I be what I'm not. 
But hey, don't you want your girl hot? Don't fight, don't lose your head Cause every night, who's in your bed? Who, who's in your bed? Kiss Pookie! <laughs> <laughs> Kind of yeah. shit, I'm so glad you came. <laughs> oh man, that's are, are you? You just finished exams? Oh yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And I'm, I'm going back to Waterloo Lake right now. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that was, I was I was really yeah I'm just really glad you came to this competition and uh, and just sang sang straight up for us and just uh, yeah you're, you're pretty comfortable performing right like yeah that, that's that's really. Do you good. perform a lot like? All every every week you're performing or not or, every week we no. like my band has a few shows like maybe three times a month. Curious, right. why why is music just something for fun? Is it because you think that it's too difficult to make a career out of it, or or is it just not your maybe or maybe my parents too? Yeah, because <laughs> honestly, like you shouldn't let that stop. I, I was I sort of in your in your position before, and it, I think part well part of this competition is to encourage those kids because sort of being like an Asian. From an Asian background, we don't really see the Western market give as much attention. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, it's that sort of mentality that that uh, is a, should be a reason that we go up there again and make notes, right? Because what you do for one generation, you do for the next generation too, right? So you know, I, I really think you have a really great potential, and if you just you have you go up there and, and do it. But you're also say, you said you're studying psychology. Yeah. It's like yeah. And psychology of music. Uh, oh no, music. Uh, major psychology, minor music. No, no, no. But but have you read um, uh, my brain, your brain on music? No, I've heard, yeah, of it. I've okay. heard about it though. Okay. Now, the, but here's the thing: is that your passion for music and your academic study that you're going to take into your professional life. Look for a way to connect them. And. Go read uh, Levinson's book on your brain on music yeah, and, and all the that. experimentations that are going on at McGill. He's going to be here at. Uh, I met him before. Yeah, like, yeah, two not, years ago. Yeah. And yeah, I was with him recently too. So when he was here for uh, the Province yeah. of Music. Yeah. And so so look for, look for ways to, to, to link them up. Uh, whether it's combined with your study, like you might even want to do a, a, in one of your academic classes, uh, bring music into the actual study compartment of it. You know, it's it's good to do that so that you're not you're never going to regret missing out. Yeah. yeah, like when you were singing there, it just felt so natural for you. It looked yeah, like it yeah, seemed so natural for you. So I was just wondering why. Like, have you ever considered it as a serious career? Like, when I was like ten. Yeah, like 10. <laughs> well, maybe you were right when you were ten, right? So why did you pick like a rent? Why rent? did you pick? Well, not not particularly in rent, but why did you pick? Why did you pick a Broadway sound? Oh, I don't really what, what know. It was just my first choice, and I was like, oh, I'll go with it. And I, like I've like sang it before. Okay, what influences? What are your, who are your influences? Um. I actually like punk music. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So What's your favorite punk song? I like, uh, you know, the band of Wilhelm Scream. It's just like underground punk rock. <laughs> That's cool. But how did you end up on this friend song? On this friend song? I just like this song and it's fun to sing. I want to sing it with a girl, but no one really wants to. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a, like, I actually like your expression. And yeah. Like, I think you should have explored a lot more Broadway songs. It's just, yeah, her opinion of like, just how you you have a lot, of personality. And you yeah, know, a lot of personality. Yeah, and I was going to say that it's good that you like, you've got this diversity of, uh, like, you like punk, and then next thing you know, you're over here in Broadway. The kind of things you're doing, and part of that whole expression, and you're, you know, there's an actor inside of you, and all of these things, and the way that you're comfortable with that, I mean, they, that really does help in, in that expression. I bet it, it helps in just, you know, how you're putting out your work. So, yeah, Do a Broadway yeah. version of a punk yeah. song. Yeah. Oh boy. Think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Think about it's, it. It. <laughs> yeah. let's put around with it. Like, I, yeah, I, I, I kind of, I, I'm hoping this competition, you know, encourages you to think about it as a career. Because I think for you, it's, it's, it's got some potential. Mm -hmm. But you just have to work yeah. at it. Yeah. 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 We're good. Yeah. Thank well, you so much. Thank like, you so much yeah, for taking yeah. part. At the same time, that yeah. rebel fitness may have been tamed by her. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hi. How are Who are you? you? K K K. No, I actually start with an S. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Sozy. I'm nice Tony. To nice to meet you. Yeah, I can see you again. Nice no. you. <laughs> you don't know these guys. No, you don't I know don't me. Know. Okay. Susie, is it? Snowy. Snow. How do you spell it? Snow. Snow. S N O W Z E I. 
that cool name? Wow, that's an amazing name. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Who named you that? My uncle. <laughs> That's not. Is that a. That's a, is that a Chinese name? Um. Yeah. Sort of. I guess. It's a rock star. Or is it a. Is it a hybrid of something? <laughs> it's. It actually. It's actually part of what my old Chinese name is to be. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That, that happens. <laughs> What's your last name? I'm just curious. C H A U. Chap. Okay. So. So your first name. Is Snowzy, and my last name is Chap. Okay. Say it together. Snowzy Chow. <laughs> Okay, I'm just curious how that, how that sings, how it sings, you know, I just, I'm always like that. Because you could choose the wrong name, the interpretation of your old name, and it doesn't quite have the pattern, the yeah. musical pattern to your last name. And I, I kind of, I always think about that. But like, my name is... Yours works. My name works, Tony Tobias. Because the TT. Are you, are you Polish? No, no, no. I'm, my heritage on my family side is Lebanese. But here's the thing. It's tone. If you it, it, in real words, you go Tony Tobias. But in Latin, in Spanish, in Portuguese, and all of that, when I go to to Mexico or whatever, they, the women sing my name, but the vowels are different. So it's Tony Tobias. <laughs> oh, when it's Dias Tony Tobias. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to tell him about yourself? Yes, <laughs> you can tell me about yourself. <laughs> uh, I go to York University. Yeah. I'm in the music program. Oh, you're in the fine yes. arts program. You're in the music program. Yeah. Great. I'm actually not a vocal major. I'm a piano major. Okay. Are you, you not a gas? Oh. You're not a gas. That she doesn't do vocal at yeah. school. Yeah. yeah, no, I don't do vocal at school at all. Wow. So, um, and uh, do you take anything else in the in the program, uh, the fine arts program? Because I mean, we're music um, comes out of that whole yeah. faculty. Yep. Um, I take a lot of world music instruments. Oh, um, my favorite. Yeah. I'm actually taking congas. I took the steel drums this year, and I took the the guita. Yeah, and, yeah. And then. Um, took a bunch of improv classes, I took a lot of composition courses. Are you taking anything in the musicology, ethnomusicology, or anything uh, from um, Bowen and all those guys? Aside from just like our our required music and cultures course, I, yeah. haven't, like, I haven't really looked at the studies courses. Yeah, cause especially if you're taking, if you're looking at world uh, instruments mm -hmm. and things like that, uh, um, just, you know, it, yeah. it's great when you put the ethnomusicology, because as you know, world music mm -hmm. is now hopefully going to be taking over more and more of what's mm -hmm. going on. And I, I I keep bringing up my favorite artist right now is Sa Ding Ding. And, and actually, I'm, I'm in a room where people actually know who she is. Mm -hmm. And do you know her? No, I actually don't. <laughs> I wish I did. Sa Ding Ding. Sa Ding Ding. How do you spell that? Sa Ding Ding. So just exactly it the way it's three, right. three names. Go on YouTube. Yeah. And you'll never turn I back. I will definitely. I will definitely. Sa Ding Ding. She's a uh, Beige. Uh, she's um, uh, of course for Universal out of Beijing, and she's Mongolian slash oh, Chinese, nice. and uh, and she's just um, unbelievable. And you love the pictures. <laughs> well, great. That's so. Uh, great we're just saying, everybody else knows who you yeah, are. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear, hear yeah. that. So, what are you going to say? Um, it's called. It's a little morbid. <laughs> it's called "Make Me Want to Die." <laughs> But it's a bit. I think it's a really great Who's song. It by? Pretty reckless. You know. You know it. I'm not sure if no. I do. Ever. If I hear it, I probably will know it. You, I think you would. Um, but yeah, no, I actually really like the way the vocals for it. So. Go for it. Take me, I'm alive. Never seen a girl with wicked mind, and everything looks better when the sun goes down. I have everything, like a bill and unity, and I could belong to the night. And I see your eyes, I can see in your eyes, your eyes. You make me wanna die, I'll never be good enough You make me wanna die, everything you love I me mean, in the light, every time I look inside your eyes I'm running in the light, you make me wanna die oh, Good Okay, so how about if you sing um, uh, some parts of Don't Stop? 
Don't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. Um, just a small town girl living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train going anywhere. Just a city boy born and raised in South Detroit. She took the midnight train going anywhere. <laughs> a singer in a smoky room. A smell wine and cheap perfume. For a smile they can share the night. It goes on. So you're not quite sure just how you're going to make a career out of what you're studying oh, right yeah, now, right? Yeah, or what I'm studying and what I love, because I definitely love being on stage. So do you think you'll be following your heart and your passion? I definitely would love to. Like, I, I would definitely give it 110% if I definitely found the opportunity. Because as you know, I mean, it's these days it's, it's really tough, so yeah. you really need to be... Um, you really need to find that... Um, that way to mix a whole pile of things together, mm -hmm. uh, stuff that you're learning academically with your music and all of that, mm -hmm. to go out and just be a performer, it's mm -hmm. going to be it's going to be tough. Yeah, so, it's very tough. so, so, but it can happen if you mix some of the stuff together. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm always suggesting to uh, to artists that they look at the other disciplines that mix their music with film, television, you know, all this other stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. The fact that you're learning all about these other instruments. You, do you know Donald Kwan? No. Donald Kwan has a unique world instrument store. Um, he's, he's a film, he, he, he's a, um, he's, actually I think he's Chinese too, and he's a, a well-known composer of film and television in Canada, and he lives in Toronto, and uh, he's, uh, the Relic Hunter. He does all the music for the Relic Hunter and all of those. But he's also an instrument lover, and he's opened up a shop um, uh, for musicians like you if you want me to rent them or buy yeah. them, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's downtown Toronto. I think it's at 401 Adelaide. But anyway, there's guys like Donald Juan, and you could check him out, that have the same passion and love for the instruments and things like that. You never. You've got to look be you know look for all of it if you're going to stay in music because uh, we were just talking about how yeah. the pressures are on for you know, especially making a living to make yeah. a, to make a living so you've got to be yeah. really innovative so that the best of this passion of music can yeah. can work for you, you know? yeah I definitely always wanted to oh, I'm sorry no look go ahead <laughs> yeah no I've definitely always wanted to be able to like just put interdisciplinary stuff together like I've always been interested in Asian music. Like traditional Asian music and being able to tie it in with what I do. Well, that's why, Sa Sa that's why Sa Ding Ding uh, and learning about what she's doing because she's broken broken the the mold in some of this. While all, a lot of Asian artists are, you know, trying to reach out to the pop yep. music styles of the West and do the obvious and the safe stuff, um, she's like bringing the eras together and and the more that you can do, because because the thing is, even with the world that. Uh, he's coming from in the in parts of the classical world too, is that if we scrape away what radio plays and whatever, and it's about music, then you can make all of it. You can mix the disciplines as you're saying. Who says that you can't take, you know, 
the mix a, a mix of different uh, mm -hmm. music styles, yep. bring them together in, 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 yep. into an installation and a performance that you perform in performing art centers, not in clubs and things like that. There's ways to do this. And I think uh, you know the thing that inspires me is what we're all doing in different parts of our lives and how you can how you can do it. So dig really dig the dig into it because I think the times are right. Mm -hmm. I have a comment about your performance. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, you know when when you finish up the when you're going to night, when you ended up no, that was perfect. You were open, everything about that was great. But then when you're doing all the in betweens, like the verse stuff, it doesn't feel like you're as open, right? You should be as open, giving it a hundred percent on all your notes, every word, and not just the high notes, right? Because you're giving me that dynamic and that energy. That was really intense, that was great. But then all the stuff before, it was sort of like, and then all of a sudden, bam, there's this huge ass note, which you gave like 100% at. But then you didn't give 100% on everything. And if, if you didn't do that, I wouldn't have known that's your 100%, right? So when you do these songs, like give equal attention to all the notes, like right from the get go. Because it's really important to make, uh, like, do you know, what's the difference between a silver metal and a silver metal? Um, silver metal and a gold medal. It's like a fraction yeah. of a second. Mm -hmm. Every little thing. Right? So mm -hmm. while you you know, you're definitely in the metals, is it gonna be bronze and silver? Is it's gonna be all the little things that add up to yeah. that. So keep like as much focus as you can on all the little things mm -hmm. and not just the big things. Because cause you did that big big uh, note fine, but just all the little things. That's that would just be a be my comment mm -hmm. for you to improve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like your confidence too, uh, I mean in, in the fact that I mean just just I, I, I expect that if you were on stage with other musicians that it would even come out come out more. So I really like I like I, and I also feel there's some soul there too in the way that you're Thank you. They have nothing to say. Is it too low for you at the beginning? Is that your limitation? That the lower notes? Right. Yeah well that's what I would, that was the only thing. Yeah. Like I was just gonna ask like the sound choice. Yeah, it was definitely kinda low. Yeah. yeah. Like I like I've always liked the more stuff that sits lower on my range, but I definitely need to work on my lower range. Listen to your natural voice. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you've got a, you've got this great speaking voice too. You've got you got it. It's uh, thank you. Yeah, and then but see the good thing about it is that you can you can I, I know you can do this. You can make that voice either um, unemotional, but you can make it really sexy. I, no, I I, I I the the range of your voice and the, and the way you're going, I, I you can make it so that means that you've got a lot more choice of material that you can do. And maybe that's one of the things that you can experiment on is is a wide range of songs that you can uh, you can play with. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing about your high note, it's, it's just remind me what Casey said. For fortissimo, don't ban it. Yeah. You need to play deep. It's not yeah. boom, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, other, I mean, it sort of feels like you haven't really picked your song choice, or you don't know what songs really identify with you yet. Yeah, like it's yeah. it's so hard because like I didn't start, I really didn't start like thinking about singing seriously up until when I was in grade eleven, mm -hmm. and even then I was like, Ugh. like I hear myself from back then, and I'm like, oh my god, and like it's only as of recently that I started being more comfortable with my voice. But how far afield are you exploring songs? I mean, are you? And yeah, this is what bothers good. me, yeah, yeah, is yeah. that everyone goes to the pop charts, mm -hmm. goes to what they're hearing on the radio. There is so much other music, mm -hmm. and you know this from your piano, you know it from the instrument. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, you're going further afield for your instrument studies. And I mean, look at Yo-Yo Ma. I mean, Yo-Yo Ma did the, one of my favorite albums with the Songbook of America. He went into the Ozarks Mountains of the old folk, mu folk music of America, and pulls together this incredible sounds. So, so there's there's all of this other music that you know the same way. And that's why I asked you about your ethnomusicology mm -hmm. course because because uh, mm -hmm. York has one of the best music ethnomusicological courses in the, in the country, mm -hmm. and um, and it's just all I'm just suggesting is, is that as you you know as I've said to somebody else is that the music that's on the pop charts mm -hmm. that is supposed to be R and B soul hip hop whatever. That has a root. Yeah, exactly. Go back to exactly. the roots. Yeah. And as you go back to the roots, you'll start to... I just want to touch on that, actually. Yeah, you know, uh, a lot of 
the pop songs that you hear now and heard for like ages, like I Will Always Love You was a, a, a cover song of an old country song. Like yeah, Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Oh. It was like, it was like, and I will always that, That's how the original sounded. You should hear right? Dolly Parton um, blow yeah. everybody away. I swear version. by uh, uh, yeah. All For One. Yeah. Oh, I swear. That was I swear. That was also a country, country song yeah. by John whatever Montgomery. I yeah, forgot yeah, yeah, the middle yeah, right. that whatever. Yeah. Right. Like a lot of the hit songs come from American different genres yeah, that are American just from like niche markets. Yeah. They're just really <laughs> well written songs. So go through a bunch of like music history. Find a song that speaks to you. It doesn't have to be pop music, but you could make it pop. Yeah. You have the voice to do and it. And I'm, I'm today. I'm promoting one of my favorite artists, and it's Linda Ronstadt. <laughs> this is the third time I've said that. Yeah. Go back, listen to some Linda Ronstadt stuff. You can find her on YouTube and everything. And uh, Linda Ronstadt, the reason why I keep suggesting Linda Ronstadt is because she never wrote a song, but she made every song that she sang her own. And she's not just an interpreter. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say though, like, in all honesty, like, the sound choices that, that everyone comes in with, and I can speak from my experience as well, it was basically influenced by what we see today on television for all those different audition shows and singing. Yeah. It's never anything out of the ordinary. You'd have that rare person who would find the most obscure song to come sing. Yeah. But it's always typically sounds like that and it's not it's not like it's just about like they just don't know. Like, you know, like mm -hmm. we just don't know what, what, what to say well, because we're, we're influenced <laughs> yeah. by what we see yeah. and then we're like, Okay, you know, that's what they're looking for. We have this preconceived notion but then when we come something like this, yeah. it's a different ball game, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why like I would think that like when anybody else is coming to audition that they they just take they're just looking because they've just seen from example yeah. rather than having given being given that knowledge prior to. But when you're looking at the uh, shows like Lee and even the deeper after several seasons of American Idol, they've had to dig into the songbooks and dig into the other influential artists artists that have gone back to the sixties and, and all of those things. If you go back to um, the Stax records, the soul music of the 60s from the Stax, you, I mean the stuff coming out of there, it's R&B but it's the original R&B yeah. and soul stuff that came out of the Aretha Franklins and all of that stuff and some of the other um, artists out of Motown and, and what have you, that, as well as once again going back to the American songbook of, of mixes of jazz, Peggy Lee, go and, re, go and let, you know, a good, a good exercise, even though it's one of the most popular songs, that everybody and his dogs recorded it, but it's still a jazz vocal, go back and do a version of Fever. Fever, wind, 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 tight. Fever. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Like, I yeah. was, you I knew was... that you, with the piano. You, I, I'm sure you know that song. And, and when, you do, when you do that, with the, and, and do it with piano. I mean, just, just but do your vocals with the instrument that you know. I think we have to wrap up. <laughs> Sorry, anyway. Yeah. No, um, I think there's still two, three more. It's nice it's to meet you. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, Hi. Good, yeah. So I'm going to come around oh. here. <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. So you want to tell us about yourself? Sure. Um, yeah. Is there anything particular you want to know, or should I just fire Whatever. away? Whatever. Okay. Um, I'm at second year, uh, finishing up my second year at the University of Toronto right now. Yay. I'm in Everybody? drama yeah. and economics. Um, We'll see wow. how, how that continues that's together. Dramatic. That's dramatic, actually. <laughs> yes, it is. I, you know, I figured maybe I'd be one of those dramatic economists on TV where I'm just like throwing money everywhere and like, the subprime mortgage crisis is going down, ah, you know. I think you should do, uh, do uh, the den. I'd go down to uh, Dragon's Den. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so it's an interesting combination. Um, I don't have a lot of vocal experience. Most of my musical experience um, comes from doing musical theater. Since Honestly, I the way you talk. It sounds like you do have vocal experience. Because oh. <laughs> you're projecting a hell of a lot that better than a lot of people. I, I um, started out in public speaking when I was younger. Yeah. I did a lot of kind of Asian Debates um, like recitation yeah. competitions between the ages of 5 and 10. Yeah. So I guess that's where the projection cool. comes from. Because yeah. that started before I even started singing at all. Okay. So where does mu music fit into all this? Music... I don't... For me, for me music is just something... It, it means a lot to me. I just, I, I tend to be, I can be really antisocial sometimes when I just really want to be myself. And, yeah. you know, I'll put my, like, player on shuffle or whatever and just kind of allow the music to take me through emotions as opposed to me imposing emotions on everything else. And I think that it's, it's really great because you, know, you hear a song down the street 
and you'll be like, wow, that reminds me of this thing, and yeah. it'll bring you into yeah. a certain mood. And it can bring you so many unexpected things yeah. that you want to know. Like, I'd prefer not to plan music, yeah. I'd rather have that yeah. kind of, the musicality kind of be inside of you yeah. the entire time. Uh, is, uh, is, in your, when you say you're taking drama, mm -hmm. uh, is music, how is music playing in your drama classes? Um, drama we don't learn any kind of singing, but um, drama is, they talk about the actor's body as a tool. Yeah. So we have movement classes and we do also have a voice class in order, you know, to have, emotion comes from where, where your voice a lot of yeah. the times, and so to have a wider kind of vocal range is really, really helpful. And I found a lot of people have been pushing me because I, I used to naturally talk down here, and like at the beginning of the year, I would start talking like this, and I, you know, it doesn't really communicate a lot of personality or who I really am. Yeah. And a lot, it's been a lot of people, my teachers have been pushing me to go, you know, in the higher notes to kind of get that emotional like vulnerability out of me. Yeah. In your improv, in your yeah. Um, and yeah, in all my scenes, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. if I'm playing a ten-year-old yeah. kid, she's not going to talk down here. Yeah. She's going to talk up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, the music would uh, helps in your uh, in your improv in the sense of your honesty, getting the honesty out yeah. and the emotional honesty Absolutely. in those difficult moments, the difficult parts. And I think, I think music is everywhere. We do a lot of Nia dancing, like right before yeah. our classes, in order to just kind of get everything into our bodies, and I even just find, you know, the kind yeah. of music in the dance <laughs> in and the everything. Right, all stuff. It just yeah. really kind of yeah. how it works with the entire body. Yeah. And so I think nothing is separate, you know, it all works as one collective thing. Yeah. Why did you want to do this? Um, well, I actually found out about it. Because <laughs> um, someone raped, when I was at CMW, someone raped, came up to me and oh raped no. about her. And said, you have to check this girl. I couldn't go to the performance because I was, I was oh busy. No. With <laughs> like that. Oh my god. Yeah. You never sell me and then I'm and like, so I was like, I had to, okay, so maybe I should. Well, it's good. We're always looking for diamonds yeah. in the rough here. Exactly. And uh, not cool. that you're in the rough, but uh, with your drama and everything, it sounds, and, and which leads you to stage and all the stuff. And yeah. it's obviously from the way that you express yourself, whatever. At media, at least media, and the more that music can play a part in your life, uh, Absolutely. it helps you cross media, especially if you're going into whether it's stage, television, film, all of the other areas that are, that are wide open for you, and you've got the personality for it, that's for sure. What are you going to sing for us? Um, I'm going to sing a little Black Velvet. I debated oh, about it for a while. Uh, Christopher Ward's song. Huh? Christopher Ward, my friend Christopher yes, wrote yes. the song. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I absolutely adore that And then that, that lovely, what's her name playing? It? Alana Miles. Alana. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know much about that, but... Uh, yeah. No, no, it's a good song. Go for it. Okay. It's a bloody Elvis person. Yes, I actually did know that one. <laughs> okay, so when I'm ever ready? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Mississippi, in the middle of a dry spell. Jimmy Roger on the victual up high Mama's dancing with a baby on her shoulder The sun is setting like molasses in the sky The boy could sing, move, knew how to move everything What was one more he leave me longing for? Black velvet in that little boy's smile Black velvet with that slow southern style A new religion that'll bring you to your knees Black velvet, if you please Rocky! Wow, cool, cool, cool. Do you write songs? I don't. I tried it. Not so much. I'm not very good at it. When you're Sometimes you have to write a hundred bad songs before you get but to But when you're, when you're looking at... The reason why I ask is when you're looking at the... at the lyrics, have you... When you got this song, did you have a copy? You got a copy of the lyrics. Um, I, I've known this song for a really long time. Right. And when I heard it first, heard it, I was just like, wow, really cool. Yeah. And yeah, I looked at all of the lyrics and everything. Because because what I'm uh, what I'm getting at by asking you this is that when when we're talking about writing a song and we talk about writing the verses mm -hmm. and then a bridge and then a chorus, it's so that the song, the story is set up in the verses and then the bridge is literally there to lift you a spot to take you into the big payoff in the chorus. Yeah. You're, in, in, in my view, with the range you've got, all of that's there, but you're acting the verses, you're not singing the verses, okay? You're acting them, so, this, so the, the, the real story setup in the lyrics for that song are, are really important 
So you're not you're not taking us into That's the true. payoff. So you got to watch out. This is where your drama yeah. is conflicting with your singing in the sense of how you set up the poetry in the lyrics. That's why I asked if did you look at them. So if you're reading a script for your drama, you're going to approach it from a screen plan to aspect right. or a television script or whatever you're doing. Absolutely. So that you're setting up the story. So, it's, so what I'm getting at is look at your lyrics and, and, and if you're singing the song, you still have to understand the literacy of the song to do that. And that's just a tip for you. No, absolutely. In a sense of, so don't act the song, sing the song. And that, because we, you, you, we know you can do it. <laughs> Do you want to get at? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I understand what he's, he was saying. Like, it's still a song. You still have to express the story. You, you're sort of like a, a narrator too when you sing a song because you're trying to, you're trying to. Tell and we want to, and we want to feel the emotion. I mean, because that song that is, you know, Black yeah. Velvet is, it's, it tells the story down south and what it is, and you know, it's coming alive in this, this, tacky, Black Velvet, you know. <laughs> Well, for me, like for me, I, re I really, yeah, like, I think, I think you lived up to your, yeah, 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 yeah. To your, your rave, because uh, <laughs> okay. I had a favorite before you came in, and I was just talking about before you came in, then you came <coughs> in, and then you, I have a new favorite now. Um, <laughs> my, my only comment to try and help you improve is you got the vocals down. Yeah, I think you need to work on the, the poetry of I it. I do, right? I, yeah. And it might be just because you you don't usually do like songs as a you know Can profession. You, would you would you mind, you know, now that you're a little more comfortable oh. in here? Would you mind uh, doing a part of the song again, like the Hold video? On. Before, before she does that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Before she does that, I want to, uh, one thing uh, uh, that I noticed was uh, the rhythm of the song. Um, because it's sort of yeah. uh, you're you're in the acting realm, it might be because you're not used to the, that getting that rhythm in uh, in this in any music genre. Uh, rhythm is really, especially in Western music, yeah. rhythm is so important. And so, that would really help in those points that I. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So like. Let's help. Why don't we try this? See how much what the difference is. Like we'll we'll just set okay. you a rhythm, <laughs> right? Before you even go into that, like yeah. I just like I don't, you can, you know, don't take it for what's great, but I think you need to always control your vocal production. Yeah. I'll be honest. Like, Over sing. I I I enjoyed it. They enjoyed it. But to be honest, to me, like I thought that it was a bit overboard in terms of like the vocal power that came from you. That's fine, but. Try to match your, your your space sometimes, and you know, like you don't need to sing over sing to impress someone. Just you know, can keep it out. But it was good, like definitely. But just don't over sing. So try, but you're gonna go through now to do that. I was guessing what you're gonna say is that uh, Skirt just sit down and sing the song. Yeah, 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 yeah. So do you want to try it? That's, yeah. that's, that's and, and I'm and not gonna a look at you. No, no, no. no. There's, there's, there's actually, you know what? That's a that's an interesting technique because because that song. When you're standing up, you're going to use your body language in a different way than when you're singing down, sitting down to, to do the song. Sure, sure. Try it? Yeah, yeah it's a thank you. Totally thank you. Sorry. And by the way, <laughs> no, absolutely. By the way, one of the complaints about Celine Dion at times is she over sang. <laughs> I, I actually do so, have a very okay. large tendency to over sang. And, yeah. and you, can, you can leave spaces. Some people go, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. They always got to throw something in because it's like they can't let. And then in, they gotta go. They gotta bridge it all the time, and over singing sometimes can be worse than not singing. It's kind of like uh, it's gonna sound bad. Uh, it's like uh, no, being too emotional. Well, yeah. no, no, it's, 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 it's kind of like this. It's, if you're a guy uh, or or a girl, it's, it's sort of like if you give all <laughs> like immediately, like right at the start, <laughs> the person's gonna be scared off, right? Sure that's guy or girl. Yeah, yeah, guy or girl, right? So it's We're sort of like therapy now. Yeah, so you have to start, you know, slowly or maybe or you know, like you can't immediately go to someone and say, Oh I love you and all this stuff and they'll be, you know, yeah. totally blown away. So when you start a song, it's sort of treated like the song like how if you were trying to date someone or whatever like that. It's sort of take it easy, take it yeah. slow. Yeah. And then once uh, you get comfortable with your audience and the song, then you can, you know, do whatever you want, yeah. right? And you get that comfort area. Yeah, right? it's a, it's a bit it, yeah. It's you know this from drama. It's you gotta lead, you gotta lead up to Levels, the denouement yeah. and the denouement, and you do it. So there's a dynamic aspect. Yeah. Don't dump all your dynamics in the front. Yeah. And that's a little. So you want to try this? Let's try this game. Uh, you guys want to set a rhythm? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll work with. Yeah. So okay. we'll set you a rhythm. I'm gonna try to figure out what note was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
It's okay. okay. Mississippi in the middle of a dry spell. Jimmy Roger on the vitriol up high. Mama's dancing with a baby on her shoulder. The sun is setting like molasses in the sky. A boy could sing, knew how to move everything. Always one more. He'll leave you lying for that velvet night, little boy. Smile. Sorry. Sorry. The last But you can even, but no, it's good. But even, even on the, um, on the, on the, you know, Alana Miles' big uh, <laughs> crescendo, you don't even. Uh, it, it, it doesn't even have to be that. It's that. Another, make, make the song your own. You could have actually. Done much you more. could be. You could. You could be whispering that song and still bring it across. Black velvet, here. It doesn't have to be up there. Black velvet. It, it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be. You're not demonstrating just your voice. You're demonstrating right. the whole aspect of your grasp on the on this song. But good, you know. I mean, you, you've got so much going for you. No, <laughs> yeah, seriously, you got. Really glad you came out. Really yeah, you've got so much yeah. going for you. I mean, and and keep keep choosing songs and working with songs, and and playing with the dynamics of it. You, you know, we know you got that up there. Okay. But you don't always have to go up there. Yeah, that is my don't, tendency. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't give it. Don't uh, dump it all on us. Okay. Have you ever heard the song? Uh, you say it best when you say nothing at all. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's but a I great think song. I understand what you're yeah, saying, no, but uh, yeah, it's a great song. Sometimes, honestly, yeah, silence speaks. John Cage makes the biggest yeah, 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 impact, yeah, it right? Yeah, uh, yeah, it does. And so sometimes you can just say, you know, do like like he was saying. Actually, you could even build up to that chorus and then just go. But you know, soft on it or whatever. You, you know, and also, what happens? The people who are listening um, are expecting you to go there, but yeah. you shift them and you take them where you want to go. They go, ooh, that's yeah. again. It's it's like the drama in, in, in storytelling in different ways. All of a sudden, there's a plot turn that takes you here or there. Every 15 pages, a new plot yeah. turn, right? Yeah. So you know, there's there's elements of your drama just kind of kind of get. Also, listen, see. I get a new thing that I'm putting on Twitter every day is, listen, don't shuffle. My mom said, lift your feet, don't shuffle. I'm telling people, we spent $20,000 making that song. Well, how dare you shuffle? <laughs> listen to the whole song. So, no, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, is that, listen, is sit down and listen to some songs, which is rare these days for young people to listen to songs, but listen to them and listen to the drama and the dynamics from the beginning the setup, and that means listening to an album, not the radio, because we all edit the front of the song so that it fits radio, which is bad. The main thing is there should be more breathing room in the front sometimes for certain songs, and let the, but you only get to discover that when you sit down and listen to a song that someone has put their heart and soul and money into, and give them the courtesy of doing that, and you will learn from them, and you'll pick up a lot of stuff. Lots of yeah. Is that a deal? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Okay. Yeah. Because there, you'll find the drama in there too that will also match up with your other stuff. Yeah, other I find that like as much as I, I, I tend to feel music when I sing, I do yeah. tend to impose yeah. things on yeah. it as opposed to really yeah. letting it yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, but no, I got, have you considered music as a career? Not really. I'm, okay, basically where I always was is because I, I only started singing pretty recently. Yeah. And for me, I mean, I, I've done a lot of musical theater recently, and I considered, you know, going the musical theater route. I did um, the Canadian premiere of a yeah. rock musical last summer, and I, I like the way I am right now is I don't actually consider myself a singer. I just consider myself an actor who happens to be able to like carry tune. Yeah. And so, I mean, I really enjoy it. I don't, I don't really know about that. But, yeah. 
Have you auditioned for anything lately, or have you been auditioning for any um, television shows or anything like that? No, I haven't been auditioning for television shows simply because I don't have any film acting experience. Okay. Um, most of my experience is theatrical yeah. base. I've auditioned. I have like auditioned, done a lot of musical theater okay. kind of auditions for like cruise lines and you know yeah. things like that. That's good. That's good because that all helps, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm really glad you came. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, really glad I came. Yeah. It, was, yeah, yeah. it was a really enlightening experience. Yeah, and it's just a, a community thing with more members of the community get involved, we encourage more people to get involved. And I think that you coming here and when people hear you, they'll want to get involved too. It's, it, you know, it's from the inspiration that we want to do things, right? And also, the right across this uh, room, there's a broad diversity of experience and knowledge uh, that covers a lot of ground. So, you're, you know, any comments we're making, do you have any questions for us? Yeah. No, I don't. It's a yeah. lot to take in, but I'm really glad yeah, that sorry, it's there. I mean, no, I'm, I'm one of those people where I'll listen to it and yeah. I kind of, this is how I do a drama. <laughs> too. Like, they'll give me critiques. I'll be like, okay. And I'll go in my room and be like, oh, and be upset because obviously I'm like, not doing it perfectly. Who is? And then yeah. I'll cry about it for half an hour and oh. then I'll go, okay, I'm going to work on this no, now. She's, yeah. yeah. she, yeah. yeah. she's got to have her emotions. <laughs> no, no, that's yeah. good. Uh, and I mean, I just, yeah, you give me a lot to think about, but. I'm glad I have something to think about as opposed to nothing. Good. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, okay. thank you so much for coming. Man. Okay, thank you, thank you for taking the time to give us some feedback. <laughs> okay, but, cool, I'll send yeah. you some stuff and maybe you can check it out. And, and we'll tell you about my favorite artist too, as uh, because oh. you're an actress. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Go go down YouTube and look at look for Sa Ding Ding. I'm just waiting for someone to say, I know her! Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't. How do you spell it? Sa? Essay. And then essay. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. I will. Cool. Perfect. Perfect. Thank Perfect. you so much. It was really great meeting all of you. Yeah. Take care. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry. I'm pushing side ding ding. I want to. Yeah, wow. You know, I know it's, it's getting boring. I should hire you as my. As my it's boring. As my, you know, it's, 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 it's very. It's very creative that side ding ding has like traditional Western Chinese. In element yeah. with the new hip hop feel yeah. underneath her new stuff that's just yeah. even coming out the percussion. I mean that I never heard anything. Like you me sound. Oh, no. Did you see that video of her doing the Tibetan? You know the per the, 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 the all the so, costumes. You need to go. You need to go over again. Yeah, so yeah, but singing is something I've taken up only recently. I said yeah. last summer. Cool. Just because I thought give me more versatility and more musicality. Yeah. It's something I like to develop. So. Um, I'm in an acapella group now. I do some musical theater, and I really enjoy it. And do you so like the nylons? The nylons, no. I haven't had yeah, no idea you know who they are. The nylons? Great yeah. acapella group. Oh, yeah, no, they used to be a, they were a big world class, um, world renowned acapella group out of Toronto. Oh, okay. And in the 70s and 80s, they were big. Big, big, but you're in a. So shame to say, I do not know. No, 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 you're in the home of uh, the city. Of, you know, you're home of one of the greatest acapella groups at. Uh, uh, in the world that one time, uh, That's great to know. with hits on the radio, acapella. Very good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they were big. Uh, yeah. 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 Our, our acapella group is, I think it's been around for 10 years now. It's yeah. part of the U of T Hard House. It's oh. A, it's a jazz choir that's called the Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 of course. Yes, 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 yes. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's oh, fun. man, I love it. <laughs> that is good. It's Have you come out to our concerts before? Or uh, I think I caught them at a couple of events, but I know about them really well. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah what are you singing for us? Uh, I'll sing an English song. Um, wait, wait, before you even say why I just, I'm going to sing an English song. Do you sing in other languages? Yes, I sing in Chinese and what Mandarin. Are you, yeah, what are you much more comfortable with? I don't, it doesn't have to be English at all. Uh, I'm more comfortable. I'm similarly comfortable with either language. I can compare one in, in English and one in another language. Of course. Oh, perfect. Cool. Absolutely cool. cool. Uh, so the one I'll sing in English, I guess, will be uh, You and I by Michael Bublé. Covered, mm. kind of butchered, actually, Stevie Wonder version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's in my range, so I'll see. <laughs> okay, okay. Go for it. Okay. <clears throat> Here we are. On earth together, it's you and I. God has made us fall in love, it's true. I've really found someone like you. Well, in my mind, we can conquer the world. 
in love. You and I, you and I, you and I. I am glad, at least in my life, I found someone that may not be here forever to see me through until my life is through well in my mind you will stay here always in love you and i you and i you and i you and i in my I have no idea how to kill a vibrato. I'd like to speed my vibrato up, actually, because I think it's really slow. Okay, well, I mean, don't, don't worry sure. too much about that, but try and get a hold of it, because you don't have to add the vibrato to every note, because vibrato has a certain uh, poetry to it, <laughs> and, uh, and to you, it, it sort of desensitizes the listener to it if it's used every all the time, every, and so, so it loses its effect, and it actually uh, works against you, right? Because it's, uh, you're, I like your vibe, Rob. There's no, nothing wrong with it. You don't need to uh, speed it up. You don't need to slow it down. But what you need to do is control it so that you know when to put it, right? Okay. Um, your, your first song was, when you came out more, that was great. Um, I, I find that when you're doing your verse, your verses, um, there's still certain expressions you need to learn, like try to, it sort of like feels like you're just singing with one expression throughout the, throughout the verses and you want to bring in more types of expressions to make it more colorful, right? Uh, you, when you came out, that was great, right? Um, it had it, it was intense, but you sort of need to figure out how to make the verses sound intense through technique uh, and expression, right? Because uh, can you sing the first line of your first song? Here we are on earth together. Can, um, Here we are. Can you give more air on the R? 
Here we are. More air than that. Here we are. Air. Yeah, it's sort of like a whisper. Here we are. Not quite that. But I mean, like, what I'm saying is that these. Sorry, can you help me? <laughs> yes. It's kind of embarrassing. But <laughs> it's not a. Um, yeah. Um, zone. Like, trying to get that. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like, it just sounds like when you. Here we are. Like, it just sounds more like. You're pressing against your your lonex, you're pressing it like your voice, you're, just, you're not giving enough air to like just let it out smoothly. Okay. Yeah, it's so just like, here we are. Just like that, just, it just sounds very raucous instead of more yeah. expressive. Also, expressive. the, the oh, style yeah. of music that Blue Play, why he's doing that kind of thing, is from an older, older genre of music brought to modern, and it's all, it is about really emphasizing the emotion and that's what comes from that breath and it's ro meant to be romantic in the style of Sinatra and all of those guys and that romanticism comes from that breath and also about and part of the breath helps to extend each of the, each of the lines and the verses which is also part of that style so if you chop them off too, too short then they don't have the effect of that song Plus the fact, that, and, and this is how it happens sometimes, not compelling, you can correct me yeah. if I'm wrong, is that you need to create a pattern, a pattern. So there has to be, even though it's a style of music, you have to think of the, the rhythm that's going to lead up to that chorus that's going to be allowed to be the payoff. So somewhere in your head or on your toes or whatever, there's got to be, if you notice some of the style of Blue Blay and, and Sinatra or whatever, there is that snapping finger thing. Well, even in this kind of song, there is a tempo. You gotta find the tempo so that word we don't get lost in a mash of words. I don't know. But yeah, no, that's correct. And like yeah. when you're like like for instance, like in in reference to Bugley and the friends to him and uh, like Stevie Wonder would sing the yeah, song. Yeah. When Bugley sang the song, he's like Fly me to the moon, dun, 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 whatever it is. And I mean if you listen to Stevie Wonder, he would he'd be more like soul and like Fly me to the moon and let me play amongst the stars. There's an implied pattern There's and like, rhythm and tone at all times with it. But what he does is he creates an environment where you hear it in your head. The audience will hear it because of what he sets up. Even if you're not, even if you're not, that's right. Even if you're not rhythmic, he Stevie Wonder gives you the rhythm in the way that he breathes the song, even if there's a space. Yeah. And, and sort of like lax up on your pronunciation. You don't have to over pronounce. You can lay back on the pronunciation yeah. and go, you know, just uh, like just like you know, like sort of like what, yeah. what you were saying, yeah. the way Stevie Wonder sings songs. And do you sing a lot like different like genres? I, I, I only breathe like, 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 like it was in, it, in, you know, Scott? Yeah. We sing jazz. Just mainly is jazz. Um, and some pop stuff. Okay, because uh, like, just for like, in my experience, like, in a lot of, not with those but like, I was singing an acapella group, yeah. we do different genres, and like, it just calls like, different tone and different feel to each genre, yeah. like, class. Yeah. Like, for me, like, on a personal level, I sing both classical and R&B, and like, it's two, that's two different spectrums, yeah. but they can all meet at certain places. Mm -hmm. And maybe, like, when you're singing you and I, like, it was just more, you just need to have a little more, depending on who you're singing, which like, if you're singing the Blade version, you don't have to like imitate what he's doing, but at the same time, be a little more original to it. Same thing is sort of applying to yeah. Chinese, yeah. your Chinese song, too. And maybe, maybe, instead of, but, I mean, we know it's Stevie Wonder, so maybe instead of going to Blue Blade, you go back to Stevie Wonder. Yeah, yeah take a Stevie Wonder original. song and, and, and sing it. Like Blue Blade or something like that, right? Because yeah. uh, you, I, I like, I love your voice. I, no, I yeah, like your yeah, voice. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got the voice. Song. You got the yeah. chops. You got the tone. You got, you got all of that. And and your experience in the acapella group is absolutely. You couldn't ask for a better place to to be doing vocals and learning and all of that stuff. You're in a great place, and um, and so all of that's there. It's just uh, it's just playing with different song kinds from. of songs. You have a song from? Yeah. Uh, have you heard of Eric Bennett? Eric Bennett, no. I'm extremely uh, uncultured. <laughs> that's fine. Hey, at least you're honest. That's that's what. Well, now you're a blank canvas. Ben like, oh, like ben, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, but I'm actually in engineering. I just do this because I don't like engineering. Anymore. Oh, yeah. Well, then no, do no, it. Do you know Halle Berry? Halle Berry, yes. Of course. Do you know her ex-husband Eric Benet? That's who he's talking about. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you just do the song and just. Do you not know do it like him? But this is. 
if you listen to it and try to like listen to the way he's expressing it, right? Like, uh, see how he's so soft there. He's not all his different tones are. Hear that? You hear the different tones, right, and expressions, right? That's what we're trying to get at to you, right? I suppose, yeah. Yeah. So just li you know, listen to a song like this, and listen to what he's expressing, how he's expressing it, and try to match up. A lot of songs. Yeah. Like I think your only problem is the approaching way. The way approach was every time you start a phrase with or something like. Notes. Yeah, start from up, down rather than like up, mm, down, up, like, right? Mm, so uh, it's it's like like the yeah, yeah it's, the valley, it's the opposite of the valley girl kind of thing, you know, the inflection up, inflection up, variation. You gotta show the dynamics, and that's a bit, that's a good point. Yeah. 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 You have any questions for us? Um, yeah, not really. This is very helpful. Yeah? Well, really that's, that's what it's about, man. I'm like, really glad you came. What did you hear about this? Um, My friend told me about it yesterday, so I didn't really have to. <laughs> oh, Rock. It was so you saw her. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Bring, great. bring your friends out. Like, if, if any of them love singing and they want to prove, <laughs> get them to come, you know? We'll, we'll love to help them out. But yeah, so it's, it's this is very helpful as right. uh, my goes on now. Yeah. Jack. Yeah. Sir, how are you spelling it? It's K A N. K A N. W A L. W E L. A L. Oh, AM. Yeah. Cool. What's your background? Uh, I'm from India, basically. Nice. Yeah. Nice. What, so, do you want to tell us about yourself? Well, uh, I've come from India. It's just been like uh, a year or so. Okay. Quick and, year. Uh, yeah. From what city? From Punjab. Oh. Yeah. And uh, basically, I'm a student here in UFT, downtown. Uh -huh. And I'm a medical student. Nice. Yeah, I'm in second year. Yeah. And I've just come here to represent my community. I yes. hope you like my song. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm, really, I'm really happy you're doing that. By yeah. the way. Thank and you. Uh, what's your? Uh, are you were si were you a singer back home? Uh, were you? Uh, well, are you into uh, what kind of music? Uh, well, uh, I've been singing since I was uh, at the age of six, and I've been into classical Indian music. Mm -hmm. Wicked. Yep. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> so, what do you, what languages do you sing? Uh, Punjabi, Hindi. Okay. And uh, English, like. But a little bit, but I'm much more into my Indian language. Okay, sweet. Nice. No, that's fine. I'm down for that. Can you yeah. want to sing over here? Just oh, like, okay. You're right. Yeah. 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 And what are, what are you gonna sing for us? Uh, right now I'm gonna sing an Indian song. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's in Punjabi. It's my mother tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Right. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. सारा सारा दिन तेरे बिन हुन नहीं गुजरदा यारा सारी सारी रात पावा बात कंदा परण हुंगारा सारा सारा दिन तेरे बिन हुन नहीं गुजरदा यारा सारी सारी रात पावा बात कंदा परण What's it being it's, in English? It's Terebin by Master Selim, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And, and what's it, what's it, uh, what are you singing about? It, it's like, a, it's a romantic song, like, you know, um, like, uh, between a, love, a lover's song, yeah. yeah. So, 
Okay. And, and by the way, uh, when your your motions are you is that part of the are, or is that just your own personal dynamic or are you? Uh, they are all my personal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm just wondering if, if, right. if, if, if there was uh, more uh, from some of the dance and stuff like that. Um, basically, I am very much into classical singing. Yeah. Um, I had my uh, the the person who taught me all this music since I was a little kid. Uh -huh. Like he composed his own songs and like I know them too. Like wow. if you want that, yeah. maybe two, three lines. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, it's, sure. it's also in Punjabi. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, 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 oh, it's right. Okay. It's all right. <clears throat> instruments behind you with a uh, toddler or do you, you know, is there, is, uh, does someone play with you? Uh, well, President has just been doing solo. Just a cappella? Wow. Yeah. wow. No, just solo, sorry. Just no, like solo, individual. like a background yeah. track or? I can do that too. But oh, okay. Do you know, that. what do you normally use? Do you use a sitar or, or what sort of instrument do you use? Or uh, is it just yourself? It's just myself. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, so, oh, okay. I have a comment, like, uh, sort of feel, are you holding back a little bit? It feels like you can come out even more than that. You want to hear the, the throw, like the throw songs too? Like yeah, the, it will sort of seem like you can open up, open up more. Yeah. The fast beat songs, but they are again in my language. That's okay. That's okay. All right, okay. Fun. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a very fast. Yeah. I just want to hear it. Okay. <laughs> Actually, is your sense of rhythm? Yeah. I think my only comment on your stuff is because I know this type of music has a, a driving rhythm to it. Yeah. And you got it's got to be consistent, right? And at yeah. times, it sort of feels like you were changing the rhythm at different spots of the song. Or mm -hmm. so try to keep that rhythm yeah. going. Set yourself a pace first yeah. and keep it consistent yeah. throughout the song because that's going to make a big, big difference, right? Because right. yeah. you might not be used to like performing with instrumentals, uh -huh. but that, I think that, that'll help your performance make more of an impact because it's great already, mm -hmm. you just do that, I think it, because those are very rhythmic songs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just curious, what is the first rhythm of the, the, the rhythm panel of the first song? The Takadimi thing? Uh, the first song, which is, um, actually I'm not the, much into... Uh, the, the, the theoretical part, right? Yeah. Well, that's fine, but no, <laughs> like, I thoroughly enjoyed it. No, I'm not it is like... I've never been a music student, <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's been just my hobby and I have got this talent. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. But, but so so you're not used to playing with someone either with a tabla behind you or, uh, or either with a tabla or, or any other instrument. You're used to it primarily. It's called harmonium. Or harmonium, yeah. yeah. Right. So you're oh, so you do play with a, with the harmonium. Yeah. With, on the with last some songs, yeah. Oh, see, yeah. see, that's that's really important because uh, yeah, because I know that I know that, oh, right. and, and sometimes you can add the tabla to it, and uh, other or it's just the the harmonic, and that's really hard to keep the rhythm sometimes when you're working with that. So just that's, a suggestion. Yeah, that's go on the net, try to find like a beat, any sort of beat. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be to your type of music. Could be like a hip hop beat, R&B beat, whatever. Mm -hmm. Just right. a beat with no like chords or anything like that, or a bass line, just uh -huh. a drum or something like that. All right. And sing your song to it. And try to think about that for your yeah. performance and stuff like that. Because it, it, I think it might be interesting to do that. Because it'll set you the beat and, uh -huh. and the rhythm, mm -hmm. and it'll give people your song or this type of music in a way they've never heard it before. Exactly. And, and it also puts it into context for them, because that's they're sort of familiar with something like that. Right? Technically, that's a very hard music. This kind of music yeah. is very hard. Like, <laughs> Indian has the 
Indian, the most yes. difficult yes. rhythm pattern yeah. ever. I, I had an Indian producer actually who's coming tomorrow, and he would have loved what you just yeah, did. Yeah, he did great. He would have absolutely yeah. loved it. So yeah. thank you so and much. And you got to get everything yourself. ready for next year. You know what's happening next year, right? It's the uh, Bollywood um, Academy yeah. Awards yep. are coming. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the whole Bollywood. Uh, Are you doing Bollywood stuff? All right. Okay. That's nice. Do you do any? Uh, Bollywood uh, dance? No, 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 no. Songs just the, the songs that come out of yeah, the movies. Like, yeah. And, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You know the Some great songs coming out of there. A.R. Raman's uh, yeah. all the stuff that he's working uh, working on. He's on tour now. So. Excellent. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. That yeah, was just that was a nice treat. Thank that was you. a nice treat. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Who are you? I'm Jenny. Jenny. Jenny? Tony. Tony. I'm Tony. 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 Sorry. Darnell. Darnell? Yes. Jack. J E N N Y. J E N N Y T. Oh, T N G. Yeah. Cool. So you want to tell us about yourself? I am not a singer yeah. per se. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm working and well, secretly I want to know if I'm tone deaf. Oh, okay. And I okay. want to see if it's worth investing in. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. And that's what's fine. your regular world like? Uh, my regular world includes work. Recently, I'm in, I study linguistics and psychology, but I'm working as an executive assistant. Right. So, so are you at U of T? No, I'm done. Yeah. yeah. But that, I but went to Western. Oh, oh and, yeah. and what did you study in? Linguistics and psychology. Oh, Yeah, both my roommates were pianists and yeah. real. Linguistics, I love that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah anthropology. Do you play any musical instruments? I used to. Piano. No. Violin. Um, violin and flute, and I'm trying to learn guitar, but I won't start again until after that. Okay. I'm thinking one day if it's worth it, I'll try busking. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah. So what are you going to say first? Yeah. Um, is it okay if I read the oh, words? That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if I ain't got you. Yeah. Um, sorry? Yeah. Originally, I can't remember who was originally. Oh, it, it uh, got you guys hers. I think yeah. that's her original song. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh. It, it was that good. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. Do you mind standing? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's not big enough. I know, my finger is too big. <laughs> Always trying to play? Yeah. Go ahead, whenever you're ready. Just relax. Take it easy. Just slow it down. Whatever you need to do. Yeah. yeah. Some people live for the fortune. Some people live just for the fame. Some people live for the power. Yeah. Some people live just to play the game. Some people think that the physical things define what's with it. So full of the superficial. <laughs> Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. Thought ain't you, babe. Thought ain't got you, babe. Some people want diamond rings. Some just want everything. search for a fountain that promises forever young. Some people need three dozen roses, and that's the only way to prove you love them. Hand me the world on a silver platter, and what good would it be? With no one who truly cares for me. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. Fitting you, babe. Fire you, baby. 
I think your tone is pretty interesting, actually. Uh, I mean, it's sort of uh, you're really obviously really really nervous. Um, so it was, uh, didn't show for me. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know you. Yeah. <laughs> so like, uh, uh, do you want to try something? Have you ever tried something? Okay. So I want you to open up a lot more on the first. first. Can, you, well, can you just sing the first first line? Like louder or? Just open up, like. Because you, you're just sort of like. Some people know. I want you to. Some people know. Blah, 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 blah. So not necessarily be loud, but more intense. Yeah, more intense. Open up. Like, blah, 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 blah. Rather than. Blah, 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 blah. Right? You're squeezing up, it. Right? Yeah. Only don't squeeze it as much. Yeah, yeah. So try it. Open up. And just take it slow. Okay. Go ahead. Some people live for the fortune. Open up even more. Some people live just for the fame. Some people live for the power. Some people live just to play the game. Some people think that the physical thing. from the bluegrass world, your voice is almost perfect for that kind of music, the way that you've been doing. Even your vibrato comes out of some of the traditional music of North America that comes and is so beautiful. I was going to sing this other one. Which one was it? Um, I'm a poor wayfaring stranger. Oh, go yeah. for it. Oh, that song. It's one of my favorite really? songs of all times. <laughs> yeah, it was... No, no. See, your voice, if you if you listen to some of that music from that, and that's why I say go back, Alison Krauss is, is from that era, but she also has modernized and popularized it uh, in a way. And if you look at her performing with what's his name from the from the Who. Yeah. Yeah. Roger and, Waters. Roger, Roger Waters? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, uh, what's his name from the Who? Uh, oh. Oh. The 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 oh. album that won the Academy Award where they're doing the duet. So you know the one in yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean it's an incredible album. But it shows how that traditional sound comes. Do you mind doing a little bit of the Wayfair Stranger? A little, like a verse? Can you do a little bit of it? Yeah, I, yeah, I like the song because I heard a friend sing it. Oh, like it's that. just one of my favorites, all-time songs. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm a poor Wayfair Stranger I'm traveling through this world of woe, yet there's no sickness to danger in that bright world to which I go. I'm going back to see my father. No. Study, you want to study guitar? Uh, yes. Then this is a kind of music that will match your guitar playing. 
and there is hundreds and hundreds of thousands of songs that match your voice and match that kind of approach, and it would be great for you to learn guitar. You can always branch off and go out of it, but you're into the roots of the stuff, and it really matches your, doesn't yeah, your tone. It yeah. I, think I, I would really encourage you to take yeah. vocal lessons. There's no, there's yeah, no reason yeah, exactly. That, that you can't sing or anything like that. No, you can totally sing. You just oh, need to get the, the guidance and whatnot. Um, and then see perfectly fine. Like, I don't yeah, know whoever told you that. No, yeah. it's just no one ever told me, but yeah. I feel like maybe they're just being very nice. But you oh, no, we're not, we're not being nice. And, and you've, you've got a natural, <laughs> and I don't know if I agree, but you've got a natural uh, dynamic and dramatic that you know, you understand it here, because I notice it She's all the opposite of you, 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 do your, <laughs> you do your inflections that will act, uh, accent yeah. a bit dramatic. Yeah, point what he's saying is uh, some people like, Mariah Carey, Lisa Keys, some people get expression through belting and uh, Christina Aguilera. You're like the total opposite. You say a lot by not, by not yeah. I don't know what belting is. <laughs> yeah, well that's okay. You don't need to. Like for your type over of voice, singing. You like don't need to not I should say over singing, but let me know. Your voice expresses enough just by what you're doing and just you need to refine that technique and, and learn a little bit more how to put it into context. I don't know like, what are your thoughts? I like it. No, I just like it too and like it's interesting and like what Tony was saying it really does like that genre. Yeah. Like when you're singing really that honest. last song, it just felt so that could have been a song was a bit of a maybe too sad. It, no, it was, like, it, was, it was tastefully done. I, I enjoyed it as much as you, you you know you don't have that vocal training. It's something that's just natural to you. Yes. You create a line. You and a line you have to be sure. You create a line that has a flow to it and you know like I, I even though like I was on my phone I was like and I didn't like give you this <laughs> I felt you which is you know which is good yeah I like that so I think you moved me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like a, a lot of singers will try to impress people like us and try to belt it and all this stuff. but sometimes all you have to do is just express the song and you did it and there are believe it or not Happy songs, not just like the Wayfarer Stranger is 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 a is a classic. Uh, I mean, uh, folk song. But the thing is, there's lots of songs that are jolly and and that are fun, but also have stories and all that yeah. stuff. There's a whole thing all within that broad, broad, broad genre. And next thing you know, you're doing a blues song, you know, real raunchy blues song, and because your voice could fit it. But it's a way to it's a way to really experiment and step out. Yeah. Yeah. And you can find them. But sure, there may be a pop song that uh, that fits kind of songs. Um, I can only think of uh, the moon represents my heart. The Taiwanese one. You want to sing it for us really quickly? Uh, I don't remember much of it, but. Uh, mm -hmm. song that's appropriate for you too because it's sort of like the same same sort of I feel like I have a feel. different tune when I sing in Chinese. You don't, have, well, you don't have to sound like the original singer. You sound oh. like yourself. That's even better than the original singer. I mean, we've, we've heard the original singer and no one wants to hear it again. If they want to hear the original singer, they just put on like an mp3 or something like that, right? Do, do, do we have the two things, two songs. The first time I ever saw you, you can write it down. The first time I ever saw you, I think it was done originally by Shaka. What's the name of the song? Oh, the first time I ever saw your face. Yeah. The first time ever I saw your face. Yeah. I saw the moon from the moon. Mm -hmm. That one? Yeah. And it's a beautiful song. God bless the child. Yeah, yeah. that's oh, another yeah. great song. Mm -hmm. You know, check those two hours and yeah, I think it looks a bit too much. I want to one thing about the chart. Because when you have this in front of you, you're reading the line. Yeah. And that's a problem of your phrasing. Because so, the music phrase ended. Yeah, Actually, it's I mean, the security word is anything more than yeah. that. Yeah. No, your security blanket. Yeah, like, yes. You don't need that. Yeah. The only thing you're thinking is the sentence. Yeah, exactly. But it's not the music one. Yeah. So yeah. don't mix them up. Yeah. yeah. Learn the song. Yeah. 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 And then become the song. Get into it. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thank, thank you so much for coming. Oh, that was thank great. You. Thank, thank you very much. much. That's real treat. Yes, you should continue. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Yes, yes, you can sing. Yeah. So, and yes, you're not vocally, or with tone depth, you said? Yeah. You're not tone deaf. Secretly no. Tone deaf. No, you are not. Yeah. You are. Because I wouldn't know, right? No, yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. no we would tell you. Yeah. 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 Okay. You're tone deaf. No. Yeah. Yeah. You're not. Not at all. Is anyone else outside? Um, I think I was the last person.